Welcome to Tita's weekly project share. I'm going to start a new series where I do something every week. And this week I'm going to use this stamp set by from Launch Form. And it's called Critters on the Savannah. And I think they're so cute. I chose the giraffe and the lion. And I'm going to stamp them with Memento on some white cardstock. And then I'm going to use my Copics to color them. Once I've colored the little guys, I cut them out using the matching die set. Then I'm going to use this embossing folder from Cuddlebug. And it has a little giraffe on the side. And I thought it was fitting for this card. So I use it on some white cardstock, emboss it. And then I use the Spellbinders, my Spellbinders circle die to cut a circle to the left of the giraffe. Once I've done that, I line up my card to where I would be gluing it. And then... And then I'm going to draw a circle because I'm going to do some stamping. So I want to make sure I'm stamping at the right spot. So I draw my circle. And then I was going to use this pink um, cardstock before and I changed my mind. So I actually use it as a mask. I stamp my tree that came from the same stamp set. And then I stamp it again. On a separate piece of white cardstock, and this is all with my Memento ink. And I use some Hero Arts ink, and I stamp the grass. And this is stamp is from the same stamp set. I stamped it within the circle, and then I'm gonna color my tree. Just simple, some brown, some greens. Then I'm going to use my colorless blender again. I'm really loving my colorless blender these days. You can use it to give um, a lot of different looks. Then I'm going to cut my tree out and then I'm going to glue it onto the card where I stamped the tree, like so. First, I'm going to cut a frame for my circle. I use my circle die and my circle scallop die from Spellbinders and I cut this frame which I'm going to glue to the front of my circle, the front of the card, like so. And then I'm going to glue my tree. Like 
like so. I love this tree. Then I'm gonna glue my card using some foam dots. And I use the thickest foam dots possible because I wanted to create a window. Kind of dimensional, sorry, dimensional. And then I'm gonna glue my little line using some spell binders, foam dots, foam adhesives. Um, because they're a little thinner than the foam I use on the card. So then the line is gonna be sitting within the frame, the circle frame, like so. And then my giraffe is gonna go on the outside of the frame, um, making it kind of look like he's walking to join the, the, the lion. So part of his body is going to have the same thick um, foam dots that I use on the card. And then the other part of his body is going to have some liquid glue. And he's going to be sitting like so. So I'm going to have my foam dots, foam squares, foam adhesives. Remove the backing, add my liquid glue to his legs, and this is what he looks like. I think his legs need a little form right here, so I'm going to add some more. I want everything to be level, then the same. Like so. And this is what the front of the card looks like. I was going to add some sentiment. And then I thought it would be too much. I stamped it on some yellow cardstock, but I thought the card looked very good like this, so I didn't bother with the sentiment in the front. I actually added it to the inside of the card. I used some yellow cardstock from the same cardstock from the front. I embossed like one eighth of an inch on each side. Stamped my two little guys again. Add the sentiment, I'm wild about you. And then the bottom one says, have a roaring good birthday. And I think this card would be so cute for a little child for a birthday card. And I want to thank you for watching my first weekly project share. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you like my card. Thanks. Happy crafting.